So guys, welcome. Welcome to this week's Simply Sweet Stamping. We are going to make a really quick and easy holiday card. Um, if you have not joined me before, I am Deborah Harrison with Simply Sweet and Ink Designs. And I share, uh, I love coming to you each week with a fun new project. Hi, thank you, my friends. I see some of you are hopping on. All right, so let me go on ahead and get this banner out of our way so that we can actually see today's project. Okay, so guys, as you probably know, we are in celebration for August and September, which means free goodies. And one of those free goodies is this really beautiful Penguin Playmates paper that I thought would be fun to use in today's project. And so uh, we're also, too, we're using the Penguin Place bundle. And so paired, we have this really cute paper that you can get free with a $50 order in the celebration brochure and so we're going to use some of this paper in the card today now my favorite part of this paper pack is this particular uh, sheet here because it's got all these cute little critters that we can either punch out with the punch from the bundle or we can cut out with our scissors and make something really cute let's get our supplies out and so the first thing we want to do is we're gonna take a piece of the fresh freesia cardstock and this measures four and one quarter by nine and a half and then what I did is I just scored it at five and a half inches so it is going to have a little bit of a shorter fold on the top here as opposed to the bottom piece and then next what we're going to do is I'm going to start from the inside today normally I like to do the outside but today we're going to do the inside so I'm going to take a piece of basic white cardstock. This measures four and a quarter by, oh, take that back, measures four by five and one quarter. And I am going to adhere a piece of this designer series paper from the Playful Penguins, or play, the Playful Penguin Playmates. I always get that tongue twisted. Okay, now this piece measures one and a half by four and one quarter and I am going to just put both of these inside my card. So let's put the white layer on first. It's going to go on the large section on the inside and then we're going to put this four and one quarter one and it is going to overlap that white piece just a little bit so it goes the full length of the card there and we're just going to add this at the bottom. Now the next thing I want to do is I'm going to take one of those cute little foxes that I have cut out and I'm just going to glue him right here on the inside. Now I want to make sure that I fold this down and make sure that he's completely covered. Otherwise if I glue him too low then you might be able to see him when the card's folded and we don't want that. We want it to be a cute little surprise when they open the card. So let's put this little guy right here on top. Again, I'm just going to double check. Yep, it covers perfectly. All right, so that is the inside of the card. So now I'm going to work on the outside. So I'm going to take this Fresh Freesia uh, little snowflake print. This measures three and three quarters by four inches. And so we're just going to glue that right there on the front. You know, guys, I am typically a traditional Christmas color person but I am loving these fresh alternative colors that they used in this paper pack. I never would have thought to put these colors together, but I love it. Okay, so we got the front done. Now I cut out from the scalloped contour dies, I cut out a large scalloped rectangle in the Fresh Freesia cardstock. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a little bit of stamping. So let me get, make some room here. Now, because I'm going to be kind of overlapping a little bit on my stamping, I'm going to put a um, piece of scrap paper underneath. And I'm going to take this little hill stamp, and we're just going to stamp a little hill towards the bottom of the card here. Now, I'm going to use Misty Moonlight ink to do that. And I don't need to stamp up the entire hill because it's only going to go part way. So let's give this little penguin a hill to play on. And then while I have my Misty Moonlight out, I'm going to go ahead and stamp my sentiment. And I am using this sentiment that says Season's Greetings. 
And so let's go ahead and stamp that up here in the corner. All right, so we are done with that color. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take the little snow flurries and I am going to stamp with the Fresh Freesia ink a couple of little flurries around my sentiment. Now you can do, two, I'm only going to do two, but if you want to add more, go for it. All right, so that is all my stamping. Now remember I told you there's that really cute sheet that has all the critters on it? Well, I love using that to be able to punch out the penguin. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open my penguin punch. And I went on ahead and I kind of cut a little piece out for me so that it will fit nicely here. And then what I'm going to do is we're going to line that up. And then punch our little penguin out. Okay, so I am going to add him on to my card with some dimensionals. All right, and then what I'm going to do is I have cut out a little tree out of that paper, and so I'm just going to glue that next to my pink one. Give him a little fun accent, and it kind of ties in with the other colors too. Let's go ahead and let's tuck that tree kind of underneath him, glue that down. All right, so now I'm done with my stamping. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue my little seam here onto my scallop rectangle. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add this onto my card. Now I do, I'm gonna use dimensionals, but I don't wanna put dimensionals all the way on that layer. I only want it on the top, the upper half of it. So let's get the dimensionals out. And I'm gonna add probably quite a few dimensionals here. Maybe like five dimensionals. Make sure it stays well. And then we're just gonna put that on the center of the card here. That way when you open it up, you've got a cute little flap, kind of a, a simple fun fold. Now, the reason I chose to do this is I know it's August, it's really hard to think about doing Christmas cards right now, but I'm hoping to get a head start on my Christmas cards this year, maybe even get a little bit of help, and I need a really simple design that I can make a whole bunch of real quickly, and so I thought this would be a really cute way to do that. Has anybody already earned this celebration paper? And if you have, give me a shout out. Let me know who's already been playing with it. I have um, been doing a lot of different things with it. In fact, I wanna show you a couple of other projects that I uh, made using this paper that I thought was really cute. Uh, this is actually our Bunko projects for this month. And so this one is a step fold card. I used the same color combination as before but I used one of the little snowflake die cuts that uh, I think they come 24 in a pack. So I used that for the background and I put them on a little wobble spring just to give them add a little bit of fun to the card. Now what's nice about the step fold card is you can actually lay it flat for mailing. And then we have uh, this cute little treat holder using one of our new pillow box dies. So guys, that is the project that I wanted to share with you today. I hope that you will enjoy making that yourself. I did want to share with you a couple things. Like I said, we do have a celebration going on right now. For every $50, you can get a free item from uh, Stampin' Up! through September 30th. Um, now, some of these, these are while supplies last, so you may want to prioritize what you want to get and shop quickly and get those items. Now, I want to share with you, too, this is something that often gets overlooked, and that is the starter kit promotion. Now, the starter kit does not earn celebration items, but instead you get a to select a free bundle. And on page 19 of the celebration catalog is a list of all the available bundles that you can add to your starter kit. So for $99, you get to select $125 in product, and you'll get to add that free, uh, add that free bundle as well. So it's a really amazing deal right now. And again, that goes through September 30th. And from then on after, you'll get to uh, save on your purchases too that you order from yourself. And the other thing that I have going on, just to let you know, I had my in-person BOGO this past weekend, but I am hosting my online one this weekend. So if you are in my Simply Sweet and Ink group, 
Uh, I'm going to be hosting it over there. If you're not, go on ahead and make sure you join by Saturday so that you can join in. I'm going to showcase uh, some other projects that you can make from products in the holiday catalog. And I'm also, too, going to list all my retired products that you can earn free with a, a, an equal order in my online store. So, guys, I look forward to seeing you next week, and I hope that you all have a great weekend. Take care. Bye, guys.